and welcome to another colouring book review from Colour with Claire. If you enjoy my reviews please don't forget to click subscribe and the little bell to notify you every time I post. So today's book is a gorgeous Swedish colouring book by an illustrator called Tina Wallen and I'm not going to try and butcher the name by pronouncing it so I'll just tell you that it translates to English among owls and forget-me-nots. So there are lots of owls and flowers in this book so if that's something you enjoy colouring you'll love this. Now the book itself is actually quite large in format. If I just put Secret Garden next to it, you can see just how big it is. The exact measurements are around about 12 by 11 inches approximately. So yeah, it's a larger format book, ideal for those who maybe don't like to colour tiny weeny intricacies and they like this bigger format. So the cover itself is matte. It doesn't have any embellishments on it or gilding or anything like that. And as you can see, it's partially coloured, so you could continue that if you wanted. And then the back just has a bit of a blurb and some floral illustration. So we'll go straight into it. On the inside of the cover, which is quite unusual to have a nameplate, you have a nameplate. Uh, so you can add your name here, you can colour this, and it'll just look absolutely lovely when you've done it. Here we've got an illustra uh, illustration. Introduction from the illustrator, Tina. And the first illustration. So there are actually 23 illustrations in this book in total and then there are also some special extras at the back which I'll get onto in a minute. So every single page is perforated. You can just pop them out really easily and stick them on the wall or frame them, do whatever you want with them. So that's there for you. Also the paper itself is quite toothy. It's not an extreme tooth but it's not smooth either so it's actually pretty perfect for coloured pencils. And as you can see, this first illustration is a beautiful floral sphere, very, very similar to Secret Garden and absolutely perfect for practicing blends in these petals. Next illustration is the owl, the first owl in this book, and it's a little owl sat on a branch swing with a wreath of berries all around it. So lovely, whimsical illustrations as well. We've got a heart made out of flowers. And then we've got a gorgeous standalone scene with a little bunny rabbit and some carrots in a basket. Really charming scene. And as you can see as well, it's one-sided. So really thick paper, one-sided, perforated. It's ticking all the boxes. Here we have a mandala. But again, there's no intricate spaces. This is perfect for anybody to colour. Here we have a wreath with some, like a pearl necklace detail around it so you could use that to practice gems or shiny pearls and here we have a sort of reverse sphere so you have the flowers all around the edge and the blank space in the middle you could cut that out and put a photograph in it you could write a quote in it or draw your own illustrations in it it's totally up to you we've got another page full of flowers and as you can see none of these illustrations go right up to the edge or into the spine they're all centered on the page and they're all standalone images Another owl and this gorgeous flower sphere which has these beautiful little pebbles or I don't know what they are just a beautiful decoration around it that would be lovely if it was colored with a sort of ombre effect here we have another scene this is a little boy with a crown and his blanket in the woods he's got his toy racing car and there's a few little creatures around and he's obviously having a bit of a camping expedition in the woods. So plenty of flowers, a few of these mosaic tile type scenes as well and a couple of mandalas. Now I'm not a big fan of mandalas but these are easy to colour mandalas, they're not going to frustrate you with tiny weeny little spaces. And here is the one that I've completed. So I did this with Prismacolor pencils, which went on the page like a dream. As you can see, I've created some lovely blends and even some gemstones as well in the centre. I think my favourite thing about this page that I've coloured is the leaves. I love these leaves. Uh, all I did was I used three different shades of Prismacolor green. I did the outside of each part of the leaf in the darkest going through to the center which was the lightest and it's super easy to do it's really really quick but it looks super effective so something for you to try
another heart made of flowers and this is gorgeous this is like some bamboo trellis with a, a, a wreath of flowers and leaves and berries and it's just absolutely lovely I can imagine doing a, a lovely background on this actually like looking out into someone's garden have another floral sphere with a black background and then we get on to the special extras so there are 16 cards in the back of this book they have been perforated and um, they have the fold line already put in for you as well so you can just pop these out fold them in half color them and you've got some beautiful greetings cards to give out so we have the trellis with the flowers we have some owls some mandala type patterns more owls and then we have those lovely scenes or parts of those scenes cropped and put onto card as well so just a gorgeous little addition to the end of the book and then we have I think probably a little bit about Tina I'm not really sure what that says obviously I don't speak Swedish uh, but you can colour this as well so it's just a really really sweet book I saw the images of it for first time on Instagram um, and I was just blown away by the charm and just the sweetness it's, it's such a lovely book and I love whimsical stuff so yeah I think it's one for everybody it's an all-rounder so as for price and availability you can buy this on penstore.com which is main Swedish book retailer but it is uh, 25 pounds on that website the cheapest I have found it in British pounds is 12 pounds 89 and that is on bocus.com so I'll be leaving all the links to buy this from several different places in the description below so you can find it really easily but yeah there's quite a big difference between price there for pen store and bocus so I would obviously if uh, if you've used Bocus before and you want to pay a cheaper price then definitely go for that if you're a fan of pen store it's really it's really up to you it's really up to you but me I personally go for the financial the best option in financial sense so definitely Bocus for me right so I'll stop wittering on and just say that I hope you've really enjoyed this review if you've got any questions or anything like that please do put them in the comments I do love to hear from you and I will see you soon on Colour with Claire